Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Petter Jan versus Sean O'Malley. A fight I've really been looking forward to. Petter, no mercy, Jan. 16 wins, 3 losses. 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights. Uh, he lost a fight against Aljamain Sterling by disqualification and then lost a split decision against Sterling. I thought Jan won. I think it came up to that first round, but again, I had Petter Jan winning that fight. It is what it is. It was close. It wasn't a robbery, but... 5'7 uh, with a 67-inch reach, fighting Sugar Sean, 15 wins, 1 losses, 3-1-1 one one in his last 5 fights. His last, his only loss is Marlon Vera. Again, people say his ankle. His ankle is what put him to the ground. The finish, the KO came from uh, Cheeto Vera KOing, elbowing um, uh, Sean O'Malley, and that's what KO'd him. Last fight, I poke. No contest, sucks, but 27 years old, 5'11", with 72-inch reach, 5-inch reach advantage uh, for Sugar Sean, 4 inches in height, 5 in reach. The one thing I will I will say, and I've always said that Sugar Sean's striking is awesome. It's really, really good. He's very long for the weight class as well. The thing that Petr Jan has to be careful is he can't just come straight forward because he likes to do that. He has good, uh, he blocks well, all those things, yes. But Jan, uh, Petr, uh, Sean O'Malley has really, really long punches and he, he punches really hard. So the thing about it is we got to expect Petr Jan to go in there, late kick him, take his time, make some reads. But again, he cannot go straight for Sean O'Malley in a straight line. He needs head movement, lots of head movement to create angles. And I think that could create a lot of different opportunities for Petr Jan. Because if Petr Jan goes in there and he goes straight in a straight line for Sean O'Malley, he doesn't move his head, He's a, uh, he's, he does get hit, you know, he typically does lose that first round. But Sean O'Malley has the power, he has the striking ability to be able to finish Petr Jan. Catch him, hurt him, all those things. As long as Petr Jan does not go in there and go in a straight line and he moves his, moves his head, which he does move his head sometimes, but it's he his pressure is typically forward pressure. And I don't mean like he's pushing the action or he's, you know, I just mean like he literally just goes in a straight line. That could create a lot of opportunities for Sean O'Malley to be able to throw his punches, all those things. I think Petr Jan wins this fight. I like the late kicks and I like... He, his head movement at times, he doesn't use it all the time, but at times, and I think his boxing is really going to cause a lot of issues for Sean O'Malley. But I think the biggest key, to be honest, is the experience that Jan has. Also, the late kicks. I think the late kicks are going to be huge for Petr Jan. Uh, if he can get Sean O'Malley questioning about those late kicks, uh, Petr Jan is going to have a field day with Sean O'Malley. But again, this is not an easy fight. It's easier if Petr Jan doesn't just go in a straight line. Because it's going to be chaotic if he goes in a straight line. Um, but he's going to have to have to close that distance. It's going to be interesting to see it. But I got to imagine the head movement is going to be key for Jan. And not going to a straight line. Also, last thing, leg kicks. Leg kicks, leg kicks, leg kicks. And combinations for Petr Jan. Huge. Don't just throw one. Sean's going to be able to retreat, reset, and get back in there. Again, I have Petr Jan winning this fight. I think he finishes Sean O'Malley. I could see Sean winning if Jan doesn't use head movement and just goes straight at him kind of recklessly. That would be an issue for Petr Jan. But I have Petr Jan winning this fight. As always, hit that subscribe button as you guys do. Hit that like button as well and leave a comment down below. Let me know who you guys have. You guys know what it is. Peace.